Most cans have two can seams, one at the top and one at the bottom. They don't look that impressive on the outside, so let's cut this can in half and zoom in to see a cross section. As you can see, the can seam is made from two interlocking pieces of metal. The can body is shown in blue, and the can cover is shown in red. Now let's see how a can seam is formed. The pieces start out looking like this. At the end of the cover is a section called the cover curl. The end of the body flares out and is called the flange. The first operation seaming roll, or first roller for short, guides the cover curl in between the body and the flange. Then the second operation seaming roll, or second roller, flattens the seam. The finished seam is airtight and strong. And that is how a can seam is formed. Mm -hmm.